Russian troops and aviation will be first to know about appearance of F-16s in Ukraine. Expert. The first to know about the appearance of F-16 fighters in the skies of Ukraine will be Russian military facilities and aviation. This opinion was expressed by Bogdan Dolintz, a Ukrainian expert on aviation market development. On the Freedom TV channel, he noted that the political decision to transfer these aircraft to Ukraine has already been made. Now everything depends on completing infrastructure processes and coordinating the supply of ammunition. Firstly, the decision to transfer the aircraft has already been made, so it's only a matter of time. Secondly, we are seeing the completion of all infrastructure processes, which means the necessary resources, forces, training and knowledge are already ready or are in the final stages of formation, the expert explained. At the same time, he emphasized that in addition to aircraft, it is also necessary to ensure the supply of ammunition for them. Most likely, negotiations regarding the shells are still underway, Dolintz says. The effectiveness of using the F-16 directly depends on what plans the Ukrainian military leadership sets for itself for these aircraft and whether Western partners will be able to provide the necessary amount of ammunition to fully accomplish the assigned tasks. He continued, as for when the F-16s will appear in Ukrainian arsenal, different dates have been given, starting from the summer of 2024. According to the expert, most likely their transfer will not be too obvious. First of all, because it is necessary to maintain the fog of war. On the other hand, the first to learn about the appearance of the F-16 in Ukraine will be Russian aviation and Russian military targets, which in the first weeks will feel all the power and all those capabilities which appeared in the Ukrainian military aviation, Dolintz stated. Chinese leader humiliated French president in meeting with Ursula von der Leyen. The president of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, ignored a humiliated French president Emmanuel Macron during a tripartite meeting with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen in Paris, the leader of the French Patriots Party, Florian Philippot, wrote on X. Xi Jinping's state visit to France, Macron humiliated and ridiculed. He shows his submission by inviting Ursula von der Leyen. The Chinese president identifies the real boss, talks to her more and ends up neglecting Macron. Philippot stated, when the leaders of France and the European Commission met Chinese President Xi Jinping for talks on the Elysee Palace in Paris, they had a strong message for him. Beijing must reduce its support for Moscow. As Russia makes gains in its invasion of Ukraine, Emmanuel Macron and Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen told the Chinese leader that he needs to do more to curtail the transfer of dual-use materials to Moscow that are finding their way onto the battlefield. Given the existential nature of the threats stemming from this war for both Ukraine and Europe, this does not affect EU-China relations, said von der Leyen following a trilateral meeting with Xi, who is on his first state visit to Europe in five years. We count on China to use all its influence on Russia to end Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine, von der Leyen said. But while Xi reiterated Beijing's commitment to not sell arms to Russia, he bristled at Western criticism saying that China did not start the war, nor is it a party to or participant in it. He also rejected what he described as attempts to use the Ukraine crisis to scapegoat or smear a third country or to stoke a new Cold War. Instead, the Chinese leader urged France to uphold independence and jointly prevent bloc confrontation as the two countries celebrate the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties this year. The two sides should take a long view and work together for an equal and orderly multipolar world, she said, calling on Paris to oppose decoupling, cutting off supply chains or erecting walls and barriers. U.S. aims to prevent Iran and Hamas from making money in Asia. The United States is concerned about the growing efforts of Iran and Hamas terrorists to raise funds in Southeast Asia, according to Bloomberg. The agency notes that this week U.S. officials are meeting with oil industry executives, regulators and financial institutions in Singapore and Malaysia. The United States wants to tighten restrictions on Iranian oil exports and limit Russia's ability to finance its war against Ukraine. 
Bloomberg writes that the United States has expressed concern that Russia continues to receive critical components through Southeast Asia using transfers to mask the final destination. These include components used in warfare. The U.S. team also insisted on taking measures to fight against money laundering and raised the issue of the risks associated with the old vessels of Iran's so-called dark fleet. Iran finances Hamas terrorists, so Washington is trying to cut off the revenue streams of both Hamas and Iran. In January, the United Kingdom and the United States imposed sanctions on key figures in the financial networks of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. The United States and the United Kingdom decided to impose new sanctions on Iran in response to Tehran's recent attack on Israel. Additionally, the US has added five companies with multiple jurisdictions to the sanctions list, which supply components for the production of steel to the Iranian company Khuzestan Steel Company. Recently, Iran attacked Israel with missile and drones, and Western countries helped repel the attack. Immediately afterwards, there was talk of imposing new sanctions against Iran. First, this was announced by the White House and then by the EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell.